أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه من تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين So this is the 9.3 uh, Here we're going to analyze the Tajweed rules that are pertaining to this particular uh, this particular page insha'Allah um that are or that were cover that were covered in the prior videos we actually have it written out already on the board so that we can put the harakat on them as we spell out the words uh, and these tajweed rules are the rules of the nuna sakin wamimu sakin and the Tanwin. So we wanted to make clear that if a Noon or a Mim have a Shadda, unlike any other letter, these two letters, they are much stronger than any other letters with Shadda, number one. And number two, they actually come with nasal sounds when you are articulating them. Noon and the meme. Ghunna meme and thumma noon and shuddida. As shatabi with sahabit. But we're not doing shatabi tonight. So let's see. Bismillah. Bismillah. So, in Hamza Kasra'i. نون شد فتحة ن إن را فتحة را لا شد فتحة رب أضمه من سكون أم ربهم this would be إن ربهم now this is a rule of the ميم ساكن naturally this is going to change things because the back came after the ميم ساكن إن ربهم بهم It would be much different from this right here. And this would be a small meme that we would have to put into the sound because it's actually قلاب قلاب uh, But the haraka on, on the on the ba is definitely a kasra. The ha kasra he Mim sukun am bihim rabbahum bihim. This is going to be idhar mim sakin, so it has to be clear. Rabbahum bihim yawma idin. Here we have the word yaw. Mim fathama yawma hamza kasra i yawma i. ذال كسرتين ذن يوم إذن. Now this is going to be إظهار ميمساكن. That was mentioned. How about this right here, where you have كسرتين. So this is تنوين, which is the part of the نونساكن. Lam came after it. Therefore, this changes into an إدغام without غنة. No nasal in this particular إدغام. Because remember the idgham, nun sakin, and tanween, it has a subcategory. Two letters that do not nasal in yarmaluna is lam and ra. So, yawma idhil akhabir, lam fatha, ha fatha. Ba kasra, ya stretching it, and then the ra, we're going to give it a sukun, so we're going to whisper the ra. Yawma idhil akhabir. إن ربهم بهم يوم إذ الخبير. نظرة. Let me continue. Let's see. Mm, yeah. So remember, this ra lamatani. The back came after it. Because if we continue from here and we start reciting the next surah, the next letter would be a ba. And Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. 
So since we're stopping, it's the default act for stopping on anything other than Fathataini is a sukun. So that's why we get Lakhabir. So here again, Fa Fatha Fa Hamza Fatha, and this is an Ali Fa A Mim Shadda Fatha M Ali stretching it Fa M Mim Fatha Ma Nun Sakin Tha Fatha Tha. So here we have Nun Sakin situation. Nun Sakin happened here, uh, followed by a Tha making it Ikhfa Ma Tha Qulad Qaf. Dhammaqu thaqu la fatha la thaqu la tasukun ad thaqu let this is the word this word is independent from this word okay so here what do we have ain not hamza ain kasra ya stretching it ai shin fatha sha aisha ta kasra tayni tin aisha tin now here we have a tanween kasrataini and now we have to give it subhanallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the ra came after it and we were just talking about the two letters lam and ra that do not nasal when you combine them with the tanween or the noon sakin if they come after the tanween and noon sakin arra well i thought it was arra but Ra, it's just Ra, Darkas Radli, Radli, Ya Fathaya, Radliya. So, what do we have thus far? Aisha Tirradliya. Alright. Mm. So, when we get here, this naturally would have kasrataini. You look in the script, you'll find kasrataini. When you need to combine it over to the next letter, which would be this letter here, which is a meme. So now we have to know what the sound is going to be. If we have a tanween, kasrataini, then meme come after it. So the natural sound would be with Ghunna because Meem belongs to Idgham with Ghunna. So it would be man khaffat if you were to combine that. But here the story is completely different. Nunusakin after it came a Kha this letter belongs to clear letters. Very, very, very important to know the clear letters for the Nunusakin and the Tanween. Nunusakin, Tanween are partners. This is Tanween, Kasrataini, Fathataini, or Dhammataini. This is the Nunusakin, a Nunuti Sukun on top of it without anything. Here, they're going to make the noon sakin clear because the kha came after it. When the fa, fatha, khaffa, ta sukun at khaffat. Here we would have ha, alif stretching it, ha, wa kasrawi, ha, wiya, ya fatha, ya, ha, wiya. This ta again is going to change when we stop, it changes into a ha. And then we add the sukun. So, here, wa fatha wa min fatha alif stretching wa ma. This would be tun tun wa ma. When you combine these two, hamiyatan bismi. This is going to be iqlab because the ba came after the tanwin. Bismi. So this would be Dhamma Taini. So the word is Allahi Allahi Thumma. 
يومئذ عن يومئذ عن ثم يومئذ عن so that would be the last one of the uh, examples be in ثم لا تسألن يومئذ عن but this would be the word however now we have to connect it on to the next word so it's ani and then we had the shamsia or annai now how do we spell the word astaghfirullah hamza fatha sin sukun as as ta fatha ta ghain sukun ar ta fa dam fa kasra fi ra dam ru fi ru astaghfiru and then we put the name allah astaghfirullah then again astagh فِيرُ اللَّهِ فِيرُ اللَّهِ أَسْتَغْفِ أَسْتَغْفِ فِيرُ اللَّهِ So this would be how we noted it out. Now let's go over to the actual script. and see if we're able to do a better job there. All right, now we have done the analysis here. Um, in the very top portion, we wanted to identify the Shamsiya situation. You have, and try to be open-minded about identifying because when you do, at least, Uh, you come to the understanding that you have uh, a a word beginning and it's always important to identify it where a word begins so if you identify shamsi qamriya 100% then you know you have a beginning of a word and if you have the maqtu and the mawsul letters you'll know 88% of what letter is going to end that word. In this case, we should know better than to think that the wa would end it, or the dal, for that matter. We should know that the word ends here, and the ra. Here we have, again, the iqlab, where you have the mimu sakin, followed by a ba. Here, the rule is different, because the ya came after the mimu sakin, and they gave us a clear mimu sakin. Here the Tanween is followed by a Lam, making it Idram without Gunna. However, on this hand, very important to note, we have a Dhamma in the Meme looking like this. It means that the ruler is going to be Iqlab, because this is really a Dhamma Taini, and they gave us a Meme to let us know that the next letter is Ba, and this Ba makes the ruling of that Tanween to be Iqlab. We know about the Shamsiya, all the words here after this, the Shamsiya word. Here we have a Qamariya word. Again, the formula appears for the Qamariya, making it very clear for us to say al qariya Similarly here, we should identify that, as well as, again, there. But remind everyone, or everyone should remember, that the Shamsiya versus the Qamariya is that important because you know that it's the beginning of a word for sure. Um, as it is in the exact formula format. 
very really important. I don't want for there to be misconceptions in, in that regard. Now, when we went through, or if we go through what we have, you will look at Qamariya Qamariya situation, one after the other. Um, however, we will get practically to the meme Shadda. And here is our Then we have She talked about the Tanween It's going to be Idgham Idgham without Gunna This is going to be Idgham with Gunna The wow came after Kasratayni. Here the case is again different. Man khaffat. So this is Ilhar. Here we have the meme Shadda. Fa ummuhu. Here we have Tanween. Hawiyatu wa ma. Yeah. Narun hamiyatu bismi. Right. Again, this would be a Shamsiya situation. The mean Tashtid Qamariya. Situation, Qamariya situation. Latarawun al Jahib Tum Mim Tashdid Ayn al Yaqeen. And this is a problem like not knowing how to connect the Qamariya or the Shamsiya words from the back. I've heard of that. Ayn al Yaqeen. Aina al yaqeen, for example, instead of saying Aina al yaqeen, Aina al yaqeen. That's strange. Thumma la tusalun yawma idin anin naim. Yawma idin anin naim. So, inshallah, that would be the exclusive um, brief on the or lecture, the brief lecture on the Tajweed rules in the section, concluding it with the first uh, Ruba, or concluding the first Ruba with it. The Ruba, if you hear about it, it is one. If you see this, is considered a Ruba from this part to Surah An-Nas. So Alhamdulillah, whatever Nuna Sakin Tanween Mi Musakin rules, you are able to identify them if you look in the subsequent videos. You will be able to find that. However, uh, concluding it with the fact that it is a very common uh, understanding, or is a very common practice to understand that in this robot, in this one robot alone, there are 90% of Tajweed rules. And people must uh, appreciate all of us appreciate the fact that we have an opportunity to recite it as it was revealed, not just as we like for it to sound and think that the better benefit is to recite it as it was revealed is not important. This is not, is incorrect. May Allah Ta'ala give us the understanding in which He bestows upon those whom He loves and keeps up, keep us away from those whom He has led he has led astray. And may he keep us away from those whom his favor is not upon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.